character specifically. I don't think there's a single player in the game who just exudes, just Bowser. oozes fear. Bowser right. is honestly, he's in the same level as Ganon sometimes, where it's like, if you pick Ganon in like a major, I'm scared. But here we go. Doesn't even matter, because now we have also Inkling in our disposal, a fast ra range character that Bowser has to kind of deal with, with as being a bigger, um, the bigger opponent. Yeah, so is faster, and hypothetically, the neutral should be really good for this character. Mm -hmm. Extremely mobile, can be very hard to hit. However, a couple things. One, not the heaviest character in the world, and also, Inkling's kill power is inconsistent to say the least. And against Bowser, you need to be killing. Oh my god, what was that? That was a lot of hyper jabs going at once. Uh, likely, uh, or at least wisely, dodging away from the uh, from the rapid jab in order to get some punishes going over here at the moment. But like you were saying, there is that, uh, that uh, pummel with the paint roller. However, not taking against Bowser. Heavy man, also low percentage. Yeah, and I don't think that's the sweet spot either. Mm -hmm. But this is not terrible. Uh, Sinatra right now, only at 111. And there are... Oh my god, what am I talking about? Ooh. Oh! Alright! That's even, PS2 for you! Yeah! Even with the platform, it's not enough to kill, but 160. Yeah, you're dying you're to a light breeze, and that's way more <laughs> than a light breeze. And you're absolutely right. Now, ha now here's Sinatra having to deal with a stock deficit against a heavy character like Bowser. Bowser does not want to die uh, easily, and honestly, puts up puts up uh, a lot of power for his name. I mean, it's Bowser. Hey, he better put up a lot of power. Oh no! Okay, oh, you know, got scared. Okay. That is Inkling recovery. Inkling has it recovers a lot of distance, and some characters can mess with it. But um, I don't necessarily think that like Bowser is the kind of character mm -hmm. that will really go out there and challenge it. And now we're seeing, once again, Leon is taking a good control of the airspace, not allowing himself to get uh, grounded by the paint roller from Sinatra. And Sinatra now stuck on the lat on the edge of the stage, and Flamethrower coming out to uh, do more damage on the edge, and just a raw, okay, just raw yeah, attack roll, right there. Rolled right into mm -hmm. that, just wasn't sure of how to, it's, that's one of the things, Bowser's shield, if you touch it a little bit too, uh, you know, with, with not enough care, uh, he cannot be right out of it. I love that, though, you know, we were yep. saying how Bowser can't necessarily edge guard Inkling, but Inkling can absolutely yep. go out there, and if Leon doesn't have his jump like he was there, it's predictable where he's going to be, and that's when he can actually get big damage in, but it's still two stocks to one right now. Not only that, this is Leon's Bowser with two stocks, so Sinatra needs to turn up the gas immediately! Yeah, you're, you're playing someone who, who someone who knows their character very well. Leon, of course, very noble player here at the Venom North, and here Leon is just showing why he's the second seed for our bracket today. Uh, the edge guarding Inkling the best as he can, as much as he could. Oh, that could have been humongous, but often good for Legend instead. I, I love the patience from Sinatra, because one thing that Leon loves to do is when he is edge guarding his opponents... Oh no! He's misspaced! No! Oh, and that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna clean it up. So one thing that Leon really likes to do when he's ledge trapping opponents is he goes for these tiny baits. I've seen him before crouch in place because the animation from it is similar to up smashes. <laughs> and so people will like panic roll yeah. on and then he punishes that. So the fact that Sinatra is staying on ledge for quite a bit, just not letting himself, you know, get taken uh, by surprise is useful, but then the counterplay there is we might start seeing some down tilts or down mm -hmm. smash. You hang out on the ledge too long, that can still be exploited by Bowser for sure. And you're absolutely right, and here we go. We're running it right back just to PS2. Nice neutral stage for both characters, and honestly, both players are probably very comfortable with the stage um, themselves. And Leon Array having a solid start, 60% to his name, and only com coming in with a dominant stage control and taking center of center stage as well. Just keeping Inkling wherever he wants, keeping Sinatra kind of in the works around the stage and nowhere where he's comfortable. Beautiful spot dodge and into the shove bash. But here we go, once more, Leon just on ledge and Sinatra struggling to come back safely. Yeah, just able to keep him there. And one thing is that, all right, this could be big with an up throw, but you notice Bowser's never been inked. Even when it feels like Sinatra has a bit of stage control or positioning, he's not hitting him with moves that actually are inking, and therefore the damage output, look at that, it's 32%. It's negligible. It's next to nothing, mm -hmm. especially against Bowser. It's almost like he's at 0% if you really want to think about Bowser's <laughs> ability as a as a heavy and strong hitting character, that free fall not giving any Sinatra a, bu a punish Ooh. game. And just the oh. Stop it, stop it, oh! I that could've been huge! Why is that down B so weak? That move should like spike and kill at zero. <laughs> it <laughs> he was gives, at 70. He's I fine. agree, because it gives, like, you know, Bowser, powerful, scary opponent, that down B, why? 
Why is it here? Why is it so weak? Oh, and that's <gasps> brutal! You know, in the game one, we saw that uh, Sinatra was able to go out there and use that forward air to actually edge guard, but this time around, Leon's just a little bit too tricky, and he just dies for it, just getting reverse edge guard mm -hmm. in turn. And unfortunately, oh, Sinatra has not been being is being very outplayed by Bowser's antics. Of course, being the down B and the up B um, and the down smash, all these attacks that uh, Leon is just throwing in Sinatra's face. Finally, Sinatra gaining the advantage state of being able to edge guard Bowser, which is much easier to do. And finally, it pays off a a singular stock, the first stock even taken off of um off taken off of Leon. But now we have to keep that lead going on the ledge. Yeah, and that flamethrower is so good for getting damage and resetting him into a bad position, having to up B onto stage again. And, oh, right, I like that. The patience, nice. but not quite patient enough. Recognizing that jump from ledge, the back air connects, and that back air would have killed, like, 40% earlier. Yeah, right now we're in a 2-0 situation in favor of Leon, of course. And Leon, this game was just really strutting what he knows in, in this matchup and against a player himself. You know, had Inkling in a, in a precarious situation of, of a constant loop of Flamethrower over Terminator Ledge, Flamethrower side B off stage. Yeah, I will say, so Sinatra, where he, I think the two stocks he's gotten, because he's only taken two so far. Yes. Uh, both of them have been through really solid edge guards where mm -hmm. he's limited Leon's options and been able to seal the deal. But he needs to get Bowser to a higher percent because as of right now, you know, he gets hit <gasps> by oh, you go. Zero death, oh. zero death right here. <laughs> Just spray out the game, first 50 seconds of the game. And that's the that's the issue with Bowser. If he the thing is, the player knows Bowser cannot be off the off in the air against a like Inkling, and that's what we're trying to say. That's where Sanchez has been, you know, flying with beautiful colors, but if he has not the opportunity to do so, he's kind of just rocking around in the air like this. Okay, Beautiful. solid okay. damage, but I think it just speaks volumes when oh, player like a player like Leon in game three after you know facing his opponent, taking six of his stocks, answers immediately starts that conversation with a zero to death. He has figured out those defensive habits, and he is more than willing to absolutely brutalize him for them. And you're absolutely right. And also, Leon, here we go. It's a big opportunity for Sinatra, and it was. Thankfully, that is where we are trying to see Sinatra really uh, shine in the air, where he is able to ledge guard um, Leon as fast as possible. Oh, and returning it with Again. another forward back air. Hello? Yeah, and I will say that Sinatra is doing a really good job catching Leon's jumps when he's off stage. Oh, my. He's so, he jumped full hopped across the stage and still managed to get that Koopa Claw. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you have to parry. It's so tricky parrying that, that neutral air. And it, it feels so much if Bowser actually lands it. And look yeah. at this, 87%. Wow, well, okay, really timing on the, on the neutral get-up attack. But unfortunately, here comes his shell smash once more. And once again with How the many? back air. That was the amount of raw backers in that mm -hmm. exact position that Leon got. I was saying how habits were being exploited. He was coming down just a little bit too fast and loose at that exact specific angle. Mm -hmm. And every single time, the backer went out to meet him. Yeah, really unfortunate for Sinatra. It's just unfortunately, Leon knew where his advantage state was. It was on stage, it was grounded, and if he was in the air at any point off the stage, that's where Sinatra was going to be shining, and Leon took that opportunity away from him multiple times. Yeah, yeah, right here, just completely grabbed him, and here, I think, with the back, yep, there it is. Yeah, just those back airs. None of those were true. It's not like nope. he was true comboing into the back air. No, it was just reading it. He lost his jump there. Notice he jumped, and at that point, when you were, this is one of kind of the problems with PS2, is that if he air dodges, he has to air dodge onto that platform with lag, mm -hmm. and that's why he's going to be scared to do that. I think there was even a double jump right there that he caught, uh, but, yeah, just... The advantage, it didn't even necessarily feel like that game was Leon just striking fear into the, yeah, his no. opponent. He was just kind of doing just good smash things.